This is chapter four, lesson six, multiply fractions. So to multiply fractions, I multiply the numerators and then I multiply the denominators. So an example, I have one half times two thirds. I just multiply the numerators together. One times two is two. Two times three is six, so I get two six, which I can then simplify to one third. Okay. In algebra, I have a over b times c over d, which is a times c over b times d, where b and d cannot be zero. Okay. So when multiplying two fractions, I write the blank in simplest form. So I want to write the product in simplest form. The numerator and denominator of either fraction may have common denominators. If this is the case, you can simplify before multiplying. Okay. To multiply mixed numbers. When multiplying by a mixed number, you can rename the mixed number as a blank blank. In those two blanks, you're going to write improper fraction. You can also multiply mixed numbers using the distributive property and mental math. All right, so let's go ahead and look at some examples. So the first example I have is multiply, write in simplest form. So I have two times negative three and a fourth. I'm gonna rewrite two as a fraction. So two over one times negative three fourths. Two times negative three gives me negative six. 1 times 4 gives me 4, so I have negative 6 fourths equals, I can simplify this by dividing both by 2, negative 3 halves, or negative 1 and 1 half. Second example I have is find 1 half times 4 and 2 fifths. Well, I can rewrite 4 and 2 fifths as an improper fraction. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22, so I have 1 half times 22 fifths. This simplifies 2 and 22, this becomes 1, this becomes 11. So I have 1 times 11 is 11, and 1 times 5 is 5. So 11 fifths equals 2 and 1 fifth. Okay. So there are two try problems below. Go ahead, pause the video, try them out, and when you are done, we will go over the answers together. Now that you have tried the try problems on your own, let's go over the answers together. The first one says multiply, write in simplest form, negative one-third times negative three-sevenths. Okay, so this is my original problem. Three and three can simplify. This becomes one, this becomes one. And then I multiply. Negative one times negative one gives me positive one. One times seven gives me seven. So negative one third times negative three sevenths is positive one seventh. Don't forget, negative times a negative does give me that positive answer. Okay, so just to remember back from chapter three when we talked about multiplying and dividing positive and negative numbers. Okay, so the second one says multiply negative one and seven eighths times negative two and two fifths, write in simplest form. I'm going to rewrite both of these as improper fractions. Eight times one is eight, plus seven is 15. Five times two is 10, plus two is 12. 
So I have negative 15 eighths times negative 12 fifths. Okay, I'm gonna look at these. Five and 15 can simplify. Five becomes one, 15 becomes three. Eight and 12 can simplify. Eight becomes two, 12 becomes three. So now I multiply straight across. Three times three gives me nine. Two times one gives me two. Negative times a negative gives me a positive, so I have nine halves or four and one half. So when I multiply negative one and seven eighths times negative two and two fifths, I get nine halves or four and a half. And that is the end of lesson six.